Welcome to my home, to my vineyard. My father was an Italian immigrant, so was my mother. People that got right off the boat. And many people are intimidated by wine. That's the one aspect of our food that we love to serve, we love to enjoy with our friends, but we never think about making, unlike everything else we put on the table. And so, if you've blessed with grapes, and you like to use fancy yeast, we can talk about how to make wine and make it simply. Not like a chemistry lab, but I can tell you, my dad is an old Italian, his brothers, my uncles, didn't use any of that to make wine. And it was a lot of fun, and it was drinkable, and people enjoyed it, and that's what it should be about. But even if you don't have your own grapes, if you can just get this, good old frozen grape juice, and simple bread yeast, you can take these simple ingredients in anybody's home or apartment, and create a beautiful bottle of wine. And then the next aspect of food many of us miss is growing it. Let me be your teacher. You know, I'm not just a gardener. I used to teach people how to fly Air Force jets. So I think I can show you how to plant a few things, how to make wine, how to do some simple cooking and really enjoy yourself. Folks, here's a plant from our garden. I'm wondering how many of you can identify it. I guarantee it's something that you probably eat at least two to three times a week. You know, my mother loved planting these. She didn't like eating it. She really didn't like eating it, but the great enjoyment she had, and which my son had, was picking it. And how do you do it? Well, let me show you here. We'll see what we can find. And again, very, very easy to plant. Doesn't require any maintenance. And let's see what we have here. By golly. Wow. Red potatoes. Look at these babies. What's going to be more impressive then having some of these on a basket on your table and also when you serve it to your guests saying, yeah, I just picked these potatoes this morning in my own backyard. 